what I'm about to show you are two videos, but they're of the same event. But it's kind of like a before and after in reverse, though. And you'll understand what I mean by that in a minute. But what this video is doing is actually fake news, and I can prove it. But before sharing it with you, you got to understand what's going on out there. I was listening to talk radio this morning on my way into town. I had some business to take care of, and Rush Limbaugh was on the radio. And he was saying that if you look at the nations where these terrorist attacks are happening, these attacks are only happening in the nations where the Muslims have been allowed to enter in as immigrants. And even mentioned some of the other nations like Poland and a couple others that he said that the Muslims weren't allowed to immigrate there and they have absolutely no terrorist attacks there at all. Now check out this video. I want to show you now, viewers, um, is a wonderful scene. Um, these are uh, Muslim mums. Um, there's a little fella here uh, who's brought a little sign. And this is... It. Okay, this little fellow here, he brought a little sign. Remember that. In commemoration, you can see his little sign. To the heroes of London, uh, there are flowers on the street here. Okay, remember that. She says there are flowers on the street here. As if, it, like, all of a sudden... See, here's, here's what they're doing here. They're making it look like... These Muslim moms just came out one day with their children, with these signs, made these signs up and everything, and they came out to show their disgust for what Islam's doing, to make the Muslims look loving and gentle and peaceful. Uh, it, it looks like all of a sudden somebody put a bunch of flowers in the street and there's a bunch of people crowding around those flowers and are declaring that they don't agree with Islam and they're Muslims. And so CNN finds out about this and they start racing up with their cameras to take pictures of all this, right? All right. But let me just jump forward here and show you something that CNN obviously had no clue was going to end up on YouTube. Check this out. Somebody had a cell phone camera and they were videotaping the whole thing, how that guy right there is showing them where to stand, where to put the flowers. That's what she's doing right there. She's putting the flowers down. How to hold the signs up, and how you know, and they're and he's kneeling down and he's standing up with the signs so they can get it all in the camera shot, make sure everything's where it's supposed to be. In other words, these moms didn't all of a sudden show up one day, put these flowers down on the street, and then CNN heard about it and raced out there. No, CNN was out there, hired these people, had them put the flowers down, and then set it all up and act like it was all just by happenstance. And why do you suppose this is happening? Well, if you look into Christian prophecy and you see, like for example, on my site I have a page that a lot of people have laughed about over the years, but now, not so much. It's uh, guillotines in America. There's over 30,000 guillotines on U.S. soil right now. And we know what the prophecy says about beheading people that refuse to get the mark of the beast, right? And so you got to have people that are willing to stand there and pull the lever. Because you know an American citizen is not going to want to kill an American citizen. And just like Rome has always done, they don't want to stand there because it makes their moral card that they always like to play look bad. This is why they hired Hitler to do what he did. And this is also why they wrote the Koran and gave it to someone else to run with. That way they can hide in the background pull the strings of the puppets, make sure everything's done, but Rome can still keep their moral card. We are that close to the end. It's The signs are absolutely everywhere. And if you don't believe me, go to the prophecy section of my website, go to Prophecy of Today, and you might want to check out my book, People Get Ready, as well as uh, an updated version of it, if you will, my very near the end sermon series. And these are all, you can listen to them as MP3s as well if you, you know, when you want to you know, read along as I speak. Uh, but this is all supposed to be happening today. When you see what you see in the news media, you're not going to be able to trust it anymore. We have absolute evidence now that they're going to fake the news to push their agendas. Now, we've known they've been doing this all along, but it's nice every now and then to be able to get the concrete evidence to put it out there to show that it's no different than the propaganda machine that has always been out there in regards to causing sheeple. That's right, I said sheeple. It's an actual word of people that are easily swayed into believing just about anything you put in front of their faces. But if you read your Bibles, you know that all of this was prophesied. 
Thank you for watching. God bless.